When you're trying to solve a system using the elimination method, the general goal is to add the system and hopefully have one of the variables um, eliminate or cancel out so that you can solve for the other variable. For this method, you need the variables to line up. So it's generally a good idea to have both linear equations written in standard form so that the x's and y's are on the same side of the equal sign. In this problem, if we were to add the system as it is, if you look at the x's and the y's, if you were to add straight down, neither set would eliminate or cancel out. So, when it doesn't happen on its own, you have to make it happen. This means we're going to have to multiply one of the equations or both equations by something to make it cancel. You could do this for either the x's or the y's. In our problem, if you look at the x's, you'll notice we have an x and a 2x. These won't cancel, but if the 2x for the second equation was matched with a negative 2x in the first equation, then they would, which means a negative 2 could be multiplied through the first equation. Or, if you look at the y's, we have a 6y in the top and another 6y in the bottom. These won't eliminate as they are now, but if one of them was a minus instead of both being pluses, then they would cancel. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to multiply one of the equations, let's go ahead and say the second one, through by a negative 1 to change the sign. That means we still have x plus 6y equals 21 for our first equation, but if we multiply the second equation through by negative 1, we now have negative 2x minus 6y equals negative 18. Now we're allowed to do this because you can do anything you want to an equation as long as you do it to both sides. So since we multiplied the negative 1 on the left side and the right side of the equal sign, we're allowed to do that. Now when you add the system, you will see that the 6y's cancel. And we can add the x's and get 1x minus 2x gives us negative x equals 3. That means x equals negative 3. Now that's our answer for x, but we still need an answer for y because the original system has both x and y variables in it. At this point, you go back to the original system and pick out one of the two equations. I'm going to take the first one and plug in the value you just found negative 3 for x. And we'll solve for y. So we get 6y equals 24, and so y equals 4. We have the answer for x and for y, but it's always a good idea to check. And if you just used the first equation, like I did, to find the y value, we'll use the second equation, 2x plus 6y equals 18, to check it. I'm going to plug in both values to see if it makes a true statement. x is negative 3, y is 4, so this gives me negative 6 plus 24 equals 18. And negative 6 plus 24 is 18, so this checks out. And that means our answer as a coordinate is negative 3 comma 4. Now in this example you'll notice that solving the system will not allow us to eliminate the x or the y, just like the last one. What's more, if we multiply by simply a sign or simply a number, we still will not be able to get our variables to cancel. In this case, we will need to multiply both equations by either a number or a sign or both.
Remember that goal is to get one of the variables to eliminate. So let's take the x's, for example. If we take the coefficients negative 6 and negative 4, what value could they both become? Well, they could both become the value 12. But if they were both positive 12s, they wouldn't eliminate. So we will need one of them to stay negative and the other one to become positive in order to make them cancel. So for the first equation, if you have negative 6x minus 7y equals negative 12, and you want to make that x become positive 12 for a coefficient, you'll need to multiply the entire thing by negative 2. Now you will have positive 12x plus 14y equals positive 24. For the second equation, negative 4x minus 5y equals negative 10, we want the x to have a coefficient of negative 12. So it gets to keep its sign, but we're going to multiply by 3 in order to change it to negative 12x, and then we will have minus 15y equals negative 30. Notice how we do not have to multiply each equation by the same value. We just need to get one of the variables to have the same coefficient but with opposite signs. Now we're ready to add this system and we will have our x's cancel and get negative y equals negative 6. This means y is equal to positive 6. Again, we will plug this value back into the original system. I'm going to take the first equation so that we can solve for the other variable. So negative 6x minus 42 equals negative 12. Negative 6x equals 30. So x equals negative 5. I'll leave this one for you to check, but hopefully we have an answer of negative 5, 6.